If you're going for the Exo Launcher Mastery Gloves, chances are at least a few of these challenges have given you fits. Some of them are extremely easy, although very time consuming, and others are damn near impossible. In my opinion, one of the hardest ones to complete, and thus one of my most requested videos, is the Smoke Grenade Challenge. Kill 200 players that are under the cover of a smoke grenade. Now based on that description, you would think this would be a straightforward challenge. Just chuck a smoke grenade on an objective and kill the people within it 200 times. That's it. Well, that would be it if the game description were accurate. Unfortunately, it's not. In fact, this isn't the first time this type of challenge has been glitched. The in-game descriptions for the equivalent challenge of this in both Modern Warfare 3 and Ghosts were both incorrect. I remember struggling immensely to try and figure out how to complete this challenge in those games. Luckily, I live to serve the Call of Duty community, so I've endured the struggle for this game for you. So let's dive into this often requested challenge. The smoke grenade can be a very powerful tool for creating visual cover. They can make securing an otherwise extremely difficult objective almost trivial. You can also use them to cover an assault or a retreat. But keep in mind that with the new exosuits and the ability to jump all over the place, the smoke cover is not as effective as it was in prior games. Smoke grenades work best in an area with at least some blocking cover and always indoors. Both the thermal sight and the target enhancer can see enemies through the smoke. Now I've read online that some people mention the target enhancer cannot see through smoke, but this is false. I actually enjoyed the target enhancer more than the thermal sight, as it is far less obtrusive. So how do we get our kills to register? If you've already attempted this challenge, you've probably tried everything under the sun like me. I started with what the actual description said. Toss a smoke grenade, make sure the enemy was in it and covered completely, and then kill them. I'd say 95% of the time I tried this method, it wouldn't count. Next, I tried to put the smoke over myself so that I was the one engulfed. And then I tried to kill an enemy that was not in the smoke at all. This also failed to register any kills towards the challenge. Lastly, I tried both myself and the enemy in the smoke at the same time. Now once in a while I would get a registered kill, but more often than not, it failed to work. Unfortunately, this is a challenge you can't test in a private match, as there is no notification whatsoever if you actually get this to work. There are ways to get around this, of course. So in order to test to find out what definitely works, I would limit my use of the smoke grenade per match. For example, I would shoot one single smoke grenade in the method that I wanted, get the kill, and then leave the game and check to see if it registered. By doing this, I was able to successfully identify the correct strategy to complete this challenge. So you can see here that I had five smoke kills registered before joining this match. I briefly checked the scoreboard prior to even using my smoke grenade, and you can clearly see I have zero kills and zero deaths. I test yet another smoke grenade method, kill the enemy, and then leave the game. And then upon checking my challenge status, you'll note that it registered, and I'm now at 6. So what did I do exactly? Let's take another look at the kill, but this time in slow motion. So I fired my smoke grenade in front of him, but by the time I detonate it, he jumps in front of the blast, and then I kill him. When he dies, he's on the outskirts of the smoke, but I wouldn't call it in the smoke by any means. He's clearly not engulfed much at all. So after seeing this and knowing that it worked, I investigated further. My conclusion, and in fact, the actual strategy you need to use, is that this challenge works only if the smoke disperses in front of the enemy and you kill him immediately after within one to two seconds. Anything after that time period will not count. So let me repeat that. Find a victim, preferably in close quarters combat, Throw the smoke grenade at the feet of your enemy and double tap the detonate button immediately. Once you hear that puff sound from the grenade, meaning as soon as it starts dispersing the smoke, kill the enemy. If you wait until the smoke forms, you'll never get the kills. So these next few clips are all going to be from the same game. I started this game with 16 smoke grenade kills and I ended it with 22. After reviewing the footage, I only killed 6 people after deploying the smoke. So that means that all 6 of these examples are ones that 100% were confirmed to work. So pay close attention and study my tactics so you can master it yourself. It's really not too difficult once you get the hang of it. My biggest problem was detonating them fast enough. As soon as the smoke grenade hits the ground, double tap the detonation button to deploy them as fast as possible. But be warned, they have a tendency to take a huge bounce, which makes them shoot sky high in the air before you can detonate them. So be careful. For a class setup, 
you obviously need to run two smoke grenades so you can double your chance for achieving some kills per life. I would also recommend the fast hands perk, just to help you shoot them faster. Of course, stealth perks are also preferable, such as low profile, blind eye, and blast suppressor. You don't want to draw any more attention to yourself than you have to. You're already going to be at a combat disadvantage since you have to deploy something before being able to kill the enemy. For a weapon, I absolutely recommend an SMG and the quick draw perk. The quick ADS time of the SMGs with the coupled effect of quick draw will help you quickly snap onto a player and kill them within that 1-2 to two second window after deploying your smoke. As for game modes, really any mode will do. Your ideal scenario is one where your enemy is not moving. To me, TDM is where you see that the most. I can't even begin to tell you how many TDM matches I've accidentally stumbled into an enemy camping his dick off. But we can use this to our advantage. If he isn't moving, sneak up behind him, fire the smoke next to him, and double tap to deploy it. He'll likely turn around right as it starts to hiss. But by that time, he'll be dead and you'll have another point towards your challenge. Domination and hardpoint also tend to work well, as when people pounce on objectives, they usually go prone and are motionless for a few seconds, giving you a good opportunity to strike. And that should do it. Now that you know the technique necessary for registering smoke kills, you can safely cruise through this challenge. I averaged a good 2-6 to six smoke grenade kills a match without actively trying that much. One last time, you'll want to fire your smoke grenade at his feet, double tap it to deploy, and quickly kill him to achieve credit towards this challenge. And remember, smoke him if you got him.